he bought this 300-acre property in North Carolina. Then, of all things, had builders recreate an old western frontier town, from the saloon to the chapel. It's called Whiskey River. <laughs> now, why'd you build a western town? Well, I wanted a place for me and my friends to hang out, and I didn't want to destroy my house. That suggests some hard partying. Yeah, we would drink a lot of beer and hang out and have fun and stay Wait. up all night. But when Earnhardt decided to have a proper home built on his property, his bachelor ways came to an end because one of the interior designers hired to decorate it was a woman named Amy Ryman. She's like, what carpet you want in this room? What do you want to do here? What do you want to do there? And I'm like, I don't care. I don't, I don't, it looks fine. That's great. <laughs> do, you, do it however you want it because you're going to be living in it one day. I was like, Did you really say that to Yeah. Me? It's almost too silly and too good to be true. But it kind of turned out that way. It did. When you came to understand how big Junior Nation was, was it a bit overwhelming to you? It's pretty nuts how many people actually love, love my husband just as much as I do. And they do. 